Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Live from the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walter Weight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record. 28 wins, 13 losses, one no contest. He stands. Five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Coconut Creek, Florida, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, Ruthless Robbie Lawler. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record. Yeah, 14 let's go. wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, presenting the former interim UFC welterweight champion and the number two ranked welterweight contender in the world, Colby Chaos Cole. Both of you have been giving your instructions. You should have my commands at all times. Obey my commands. Touch gloves if you like. Listen. No surprise, no touch of the gloves. See, Robbie Lawler doesn't smile until it's time to fight. Now he's happy. Colby Covington trying to make it seven consecutive UFC wins tonight. He is favored to do just that. Keith Peterson gets us underway. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Toyo Tires, the official tire of the UFC. Colby straight for the shot. Yeah. One, two's down the middle from Lawler. Nice uppercut. Covington loading up here early on. He's in blue, Lawler in black. And the pressure of Lawler can really help with the wrestling. It'll force the shot to Covington early. Surprise, it is a pro Lawler crowd tonight. And Covington plausibly would have it no other way. Sprawl here from Lawler. Covington staying committed to this attempt here. This is what he does, and he gets that double leg locked, and now he's got the takedown. Partial takedown, Robbie does a good job. The last second, he clinches around the waist, which takes away the momentum of the slam, and that allows him to get back up to his knees and to his feet, as we're seeing here from Lawler doing the right thing. He's digging the right underhook. He'll use that underhook to squeak his hips the other way. And we're seeing Covington doing what he's got to, get heavy on Lawler early, take away some of that power. Right, wrestling. exactly. Couple nice knees on the inside for Robbie Lawler. He's got the decorated collegiate wrestler, Greg Jones, in his corner. Couldn't stop the Covington takedown there, but immediately back to a knee, and now Covington. So nice how he went yeah. single leg to double leg, went to grab the wrist. He's right on the knees right here, so he's gonna elevate those hips again. Now he takes the back of Lawler here. Oh, nice elbow from Lawler there, got Covington's attention. Lawler looking for a Kimura. Now we saw this position with and they get out of it. And Covington does the perfect thing. He took away the legs of Lawler, and then he can't use the Kimura. Very nice. Covington at his suffocating best here early on. Drags Lawler down. You can really see the, the, the level of wrestling out of Covington right now. I mean, it is, it's legit. The way he took Robbie Lawler down, it's not easy to do. And the, the way that he's piecing things together for control here, this control is just very nice that he's using. And that choke. It's not in, the chin's in there to save Ro Robbie, and Robbie can go to his back, but man, it sucks to be there. Covington bails on the choke, now reverses to the other side. Trying to fight his way underneath that chin of Lawler. What's helping Covington is his head is higher than Lawler, so Lawler can't 
he has to carry his weight in order to stand up, and that's exhausting. And it's just keeping Covington in the dominant position here, having his head higher than Lawler's in this position on the fence. Covington working right in front of his American top team coaches, Steve Mako, Conan Silvera. Crowd trying to give a little juice to Robbie Lawler. Two minutes to go in round one. Covington with some heavy control here. It just, what he's doing right now, Covington, he's blanketing Robbie Lawler, so he's making Robbie use a lot of power and a lot of energy to get to his feet. Covington doesn't care right now about a finish. He wants to wear you out before he right. tries to finish exactly. you, and that's what you gotta do, to especially Lawler. He's so strong, you take that explosion out. That's all we're seeing here, guys. He's just grinding him out, riding him, trying to make him carry his weight. If the finish comes, it's there, but he just wants to make Robbie miserable here. Covington continues to apply pressure, but you're right, not necessarily trying to finish this fight at all. No, he's just, he's controlling right now. He's burning the clock, and he's he's trying to stay higher than Lawler, and Lawler's holding his thumb up like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm not gonna waste any energy either, but it still doesn't look good. There it is, that's all he wanted. Crowd pops, says Lawler gets back to his feet under a minute to go round one. Lawler continues to attack all parts as he goes low with the leg kick. Covington, not unlike Lawler, never as happy as when he's in a fight. Missed on that knee, now changes levels. This first round pace is Too ridiculous, easy. Too good. by the way, that Covington is keeping. It really is. He is taking Lawler down at will, and he is putting the pressure on, and it is pretty impressive. You can't deny any of it. Lawler staying composed here. If you're Lawler, you gotta turn your back to the mat as he's doing. There's no threat of the finish there, but it just looks bad. You're burning the clock. You gotta use this position to get up. You can't keep sitting on your butt here. Nice combination from Covington as Lawler gets back to his feet. Big first round for Covington. Have a seat for me. Or stand if you like. If you're gonna stand, you gotta turn and face me. Settle in now, yeah? Let's feel that come down. Hey, just throw our hands out there, control the distance. Control the distance, control the tempo. Take charge a little bit for me now, okay? Pain yep. there, go ahead. All right, back live in Newark. Live shot of Robbie Lawler. Certainly was up against it there in the first five minutes, Don. We see some huge shots landed right here. Big body shot, just barely slips off, and we see the back control. Covington, nice spin elbow, or back elbow, I should say, from Lawler. Good takedowns, mostly takedowns to a couple strikes from Lawler, but right now, Covington is keeping a crazy pace. And it can be easy to forget just how dominant and just how elite Colby Covington is Show because he's Show fought just fight. once since October of 2017, but certainly pick it up right where he left off in the win against Dos Anjos last June. Watch that left hand of Lawler. I've seen Covington eat some of those. He's gotta be careful as he starts getting farther into this fight to stay tight with his defense against Lawler. Lawler's got power at all times. Nice Co hands from Covington. Well, he's doing a great job mixing it up. I mean, that's what's offsetting Lawler right now. He boxes for a second, drops to the ankles. Drops to the ankles, comes up, boxes again. I mean, he's mixing it up just like we said at the beginning, and that's what's offsetting Robbie. Robbie's pretty much ready to hit him with a power shot, and that's all that Covington's looking for right now, so far. Colby Covington hasn't been knocked out in 15 pro fights coming in. He has proven to be exceedingly durable at times when he has been hitting the UFC, and 63% of his takedown attempts have been good ones thus far. And that's what he does. He goes from the takedown, he goes back upstairs, throws an elbow, goes back downstairs. You'll see him get busy again. He's never sitting still. He's always working. Mm -hmm. Now, Lawler, on the other hand, does a very good job defensively until he knocks you out. <laughs> he stays calm, he stays cool, he stays collected. And then when he give, you give him one inch of space, he'll knock you out. So, don't blink, people. As yet, Covington has not given Lawler a lot of space, space in which to operate. But every time there's a separation, you get the sense this crowd feels like something special could happen for Lawler. 
Nice job attacking that lead leg of Covington there. And the pressure of Covington is what's going to stop the striking ability Beautiful. of Lawler. I mean, it's right now. It's so nice. It's just overwhelming Lawler. Every time Lawler tries to land something heavy, he gets taken down and has to rethink his rhythm and his timing, and everything restarts all over again every time he goes to his butt. And, of course, just because Covington hasn't been all that active, that doesn't mean he's not putting in the time and the right work, of course, down there at American Top Team. You could see it right now. The pace he's keeping is ridiculous. This is a crazy pace. Really crazy. People don't know how hard it is to do this, what he's doing right now. Well, Lawler has been able to get back to his feet all six times in which he's been taken down. Oh, big uppercut from Covington. And that allows for another level change and a dunk. It's pretty much been pure domination for about two rounds by Covington. Same positions over and over and over. And it's, I think it's just, you know, we got Robbie waiting a little bit. He's waiting, waiting, waiting for Covington, thinking about the takedown, thinking about the takedown, and the takedowns are just adding up, and the strikes are just adding up. Trevor Whitman, we're about eight minutes in. Your thoughts on what's transpired thus far? I cannot believe how much Colby is making Robbie work. I mean, it is nonstop. He's using the cage to make Robbie work, to get up, then he's right back down, then he's up, then he's right back down. He keeps him defensive, but pushing him up against a cage, I heard Dominic say this earlier, sometimes it's easier to get up. And I think he uses that to wear his opponents out. It's and how, amazing pace. And how about Trevor, this work rate that just it's continues crazy. on the feet. And he's willing to work with him. Right. You know, he's allowing him up, putting him back down, allowing him up, putting him back down. This has got to be brutal facing a guy like this. We've seen Robbie do this exact tactic. I'm not saying that it's wrong. It's just it doesn't look good to the judges to just Rope sit. Dump. He's got power yeah. that he can right. catch you sleeping. There's no doubt that he can catch you sleeping. What do you think he's part. doing? What's he looking for, Trevor? Why is, why is Robbie not throwing more? Well, I think he's, you know, a lot of times you can take breaks against the cage with other people. And he needs to take this to the center where he actually can use his feet just a little bit. But Colby's doing so great at not allowing it. You just can't think right here. There's a left hand from Lawler, but they have been few and far between. Covington continues to lead the dance on the feet, mixing it up with his hands, goes high with the kick there. Covington looks as sharp in all disciplines as we have seen him. Beautiful kick to the body now. Robbie just happy with rolling with the punches. I think he's trying to hope that Covington gets tired the more he throws output, output, up, out. Just like Trevor said, the rope a dope style. I mean, it's not my favorite, but right now we've seen Robbie do it before and knock people out. So you cannot knock what Robbie Lawler does. And now you're seeing him pour the pressure on. I think he's waiting for the later rounds and hoping that Covington uses all his energy in the early rounds. That's what it looks like to me if we're watching the, the pace that Robbie's keeping. Furious pace and pressure as usual from Colby Covington through 10 minutes. Doing it on the feet with the takedowns. Dominance. This is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Don't forget Look at that. me, Ruthless. Look What's at up? me. Rob's gonna take care of you here. Yep. Rob, give him water. Okay, yeah, you can give him water. You can just spit if you want. Start building now. Start building. We yep. got to get our hands and feet going. Everything, right. everything starts there. Everything's gonna start with your feet. Let's get that bounce and real fucking punches. Just don't throw your hands yep. out there. Touch this motherfucker up. You hear me? Yep. Pena, you got something? I see you moving, baby. I see you moving. He's lost, Luigi. <laughs> he, he doesn't handle the pressure. He can't handle you. So let's keep it like that. But I don't want you to go to extension. Okay. Huge takedown here, as you see, he throws two punches, drops down, changes levels. Boop, throws punches again, drops down, changes levels. I mean, it's just real nice how he's throwing a couple nice uppercuts, hooks, straights, and then he drops down right there, straight to the double. He gets the hips squared up, and then he shoots. And right here, you see a nice body kick. Listen to this. Bam! I mean, you can't hear it, but ouch. You gave us the bam, though. Thank you for that. I guess that was me, wasn't it? Sure, you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? They told me you were going to hear it. All right, it round three dirty. is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. Greg Jones in the corner of Robbie Lawler, not mincing his words there. We'll see if Lawler can follow up on that command here. Now, here's Lawler. Here's what I expected from Lawler early, but he's waiting a little while. 
nice double leg by Covington. I expected the early pressure from Lawler to pull out the shots, but he just can't stop the shots of Covington right now. They're too quick. Eight takedowns, now nine for Colby Covington, and we are just starting in round three, his career high, 12 takedowns. That came against Brian Barberina, I believe, back in 2016. I mean, I think he averages five takedowns a round or a fight or something. Yeah, over five and a half. I mean, per 15. His pace is silly. It's, it's nuts, man, you know? And it's being able to stay, look how close he keeps the fight. He literally makes it a wrestling match. He's in a clinch wrestling match. Here's Robbie with the pressure. He'll start coming back in the later rounds. Robbie always does. He always turns it up at the end of the rounds, at the end of the title fight. Here it is. This is what he wants. Couple lands here for Lawler. Conan Severa did not want Covington getting in these type of exchanges. Now he's starting to catch up Ooh. a little with the punches in Lawler. Changing the pace a little. Covington. Another double. Okay. Just relentless. I mean, we've talked a lot about the takedown attempts, now 14 of them. He's thrown almost 200 strikes already. Yeah, his pace is insane. And the way that he can wrestle nonstop is what's really impressive to me. Covington with a knee, Lalo with a couple uppercuts there. Waiting for that left hand. See how Covington's left hand sits a little bit low there. Doesn't always stay up tight. And that's where you gotta watch lower for that left hand. But right now, Lawler's just rolling with the punch. He's not throwing too much offense. It's pressure and rolling. Covington loads up on that left hand. Lawler able to raise the guard. Flying knee attempt. Another double leg. Allows him to enter on the double leg. We have crossed the midpoint of this middle round. Right back to pressure. Covington doesn't give you any time to reset. Well, and that's his best aspect, is the non-stop in your face, wrestling, dirty boxing, elbows, pressure, leg kick. It's just non-stop flood of offense. It's just kind of hard to make a read. You basically, if you're Lala, just throw as hard as you can one of these big shots, but doesn't want to get taken down either. Covington continues to attack. Touching Robbie Lawler low there. Goodness, big shot hurts Covington, and yep. that's all Lawler needs. Do right. not forget that. He needs one shot. And the thing about Lawler is how durable he is. Don't forget about the McDonald fight. He out-toughed McDonald into that win, and he's looking to out-tough everybody he fights. Lawler trying to find that perfect shot. Covington just continues to throw volume. Nice jab from Robbie Lawler. Ooh, Lawler defensively pretty sound in that exchange. I mean, this is a pocket fight, ladies and gentlemen. It's literally just stand in boxing range in the pocket, see how well you can defend. If you ever do old school boxing drill, you put your foot in the tire. These guys are basically got their foot in the tire and they won't leave that area and they're just trading. Lucky you fans. 30 seconds now to go round three. It has been a better round for Robbie Lawler, but this fight has belonged to Kobe Covington, who lands another flush body kick there. Those are hard, too. Those hurt. Those take the air out of you. I don't care how, how much you make it look like they don't hurt. That many starts to add up. It's three. Three or four, eight. As is often the case, Kobe Covington in the zone tonight. No.
Yeah, all right. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Just a couple of the Fuck all the technical shit. Meet this. Yes, he cannot handle you. He cannot handle you. No place, nowhere. Okay? Your round, your this is your Not time. Your Four or five. Eight. Heads up every time you stay, Listen, okay? Keep the thing. When you see that he's close to you, I want to see the jab work and you keep him away from you. Okay? And be a, just pay attention. That's all. Come on. Breathe again. All right, so we'll see how Colby Covington chooses to manage risk in these main event rounds. And you heard Greg Jones say to Robbie Lawler, I'll paraphrase, screw the technical <laughs> stuff, right? Yeah, he said, meet him in the middle and let's smash this dude's mouth uh, for lack of so you know, ready? different so terms. So you ready? Fight. All right, we will see if Robbie Lawler throws caution to the wind. He's got a lot of work to do to rally in this one. Oh, he's definitely behind by a lot. Lolly looking a little gun shy. Covington does a pretty nice job rolling with these punches defensively as well. Nice left hand from Covington. And Covington, they both have that. When we talk about, excuse me, Don, volume strikers in the UFC, Max Holloway comes to mind, but for Covington to have thrown 300 total strikes with 15 takedown attempts, this is just all offense all the time. I agree. No, it's a crazy, crazy pace he's keeping. You can't, you can't say anything else. You can't. Covington's pace is, is really silly. And for you to acknowledge that, given your cardio strength. I like to I like to mix it up too. This guy's wrestling, the way that he's wrestling nonstop is really, it takes a lot of energy. And he's out wrestling Robbie Lawler and that's not easy either because Lawler has been wrestling his whole life too, so. Lawler starting to find his range a little bit on the feet. Covington doubles up on the jab and then a left hand. I think what would help Lawler is if he would roll a little bit and then fire, roll, fire, roll, fire. Maybe go to the body a little. I'd say go to the body a lot on Covington because that'll also employ his his down block so he can get the underhooks on Covington at the same time as he's trying to take away some of the air. But just rolling and not firing back is making it kind of easy for Covington right now. There it is. Now he's throwing. Roll and fire if you're Lawler to really help the case. But right now he's just rolling. of upper body movement to evade those shots for Lawler. Under three minutes to go in the round. Pretty good entry there from Covington. Lawler able to stay upright. Covington just continuing to give Lawler so many different looks and things to think about. Oh. I mean, they're just rolling and throwing. It's boxing, man. This is boxing 101 right here in the pocket. Now they're adding some wrestling to it. Not big shots, but pure offense. Covington's last fight 13, 14 months ago, 342 total strike attempts against Rafael Dos Anjos. We still got about seven minutes to go. He has thrown 382 strikes and counting. Insane pace. Switches to the double right in time. Just throw off the rhythm, throw off the timing again. Make Robbie work to carry his weight all the way up. Robbie does a good job this time. Just creating the space right away and getting to his feet instead of staying on his butt a little long. Let's see if he can get away though. Covington's been able to really keep him on the fence a lot of time. And certainly if you're Colby Covington, the clock is your friend. He's always looking for a spin elbows on the break too. So just, that's, Robbie knows that. He, Missed one already. On 
under a minute here to go in round four of a possible five. Covington mixes in an elbow there for good measure. It's a grimy, dirty match is what Colby's making it. Good connection there by Lawler on the inside, but again, too few and far between. Covington goes high with a kick. I'm really curious to see how Lale decides to play this fifth round. I mean, he's, to me, waited just far too much. And if he really turns up in the fifth, I wouldn't be surprised because it's almost like he's been waiting all this time to really just turn up in the fifth. But you never know, because Covington's pace is that good right, right. now that it might just be shut down Lawler. I don't know. Might as well empty the tank if you're Lawler. In all likelihood, 4-0. Beating from you, yes. Listen, you got a 10 minutes on you, you need to fight five. You know, one of the five better than the other four than they just can. You can realize you're going to do this. Not give him a chance okay. of anything. Because Last one. This is your one. This is what you look for. Right? Read it for me. Exceed his intensity right here, right now. Let's go to work. So I walk him in the mirror, walk him down. Put your hand in his fucking face. Look at these strikes absorbed by Robbie Lawler. Nearly 150 to the head. And how about Kamar Usman, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion on the set. Fight. He will be part of our post show live on ESPN Plus, And you can be sure the winner will join them. And if Covington can finish the job tonight, this performance is only going to heighten anticipation for a bout between Covington and Kamar Usman. We'll see if Lawler can rally, though, first. for Robbie to unload a left hand. He hasn't really thrown a, a super hard left hand once. They, they come out, but they're not powerful like he has. It just kind of sticks him out there. He's used a lot of jabs in this, but more than anything, that uppercut's landed for him. Maybe he can land that uppercut and that overhand left. I know it's there, he just gotta let it go. So thinking about the shot, I believe that it's just shutting down his offense striking. That's, that's really the tale that I've seen so far. Covington's wrestling is that good. Watch your fingers. Covington, such a, a defensively educated left hand, you know, always raising that up after he extends himself offensively. And what's cool about it is, you know, the champion has just as good, if not better, wrestling, and that's what we would end up seeing in a championship fight between Covington and Usman is a, rest, a grappling match with awesome offense and striking. So, you know, that's what we'd see. And with Robbie, you know, you're going to see somebody possibly get knocked out every time he fights. I mean, this thing is not over yet. There's still three minutes left. This Lawler, is the toughest part of the fight. Trying to walk Covington down, but eating jabs for his troubles. to the body. And see, you're seeing Lawler throw different combos now. He's picking it up a little. I think this could have been in fourth, in the fourth round, too, to really give him a case, but he's doing what he can right now. He's pressuring, going to the body, throwing, but landing a little bit more in this fifth. Lawler circles away. It's a little bit of space right, to make some reads. Yeah. Just want to be able to make some reads and some punches. I want to be able to step back and counter you, but nonstop. It's like pouring water on your head. It's just annoying. And when
this is all said and done, Colby Covington is going to have thrown north of 500 strikes, coming up on 20 takedown attempts. Just an offensive recipe that's going to be hard for people to deal with. That's what he wanted. Wait till the end to unload. We saw this in past fights with Lawler, and he's gotten the win this way, waiting until the fifth to just unload and really do damage. But is it enough? He's going to have to knock out Colby at this point, I think, for sure. I think that's a, a fair statement at this juncture. I really thought the left hand would find more of a home for Robbie in this matchup, and it just has not. And Covington certainly deserves the bulk of the credit for that. Yeah, he's done everything he can. He's moved forward, he's nonstop offense, he's used his jab, he's got good boxing, he's mixed elbows into his, re he's done everything he's always done. And he's in stellar condition. 24 minutes down, one to go. Lawler continuing to move that head, but the offense has got to come now. He'll really usually unload in the last 30 seconds and see what happens. I mean, he's been waiting this long, so let's see what he can do with it. Lala, you got to start letting your hands go now. Can't wait. Good jab from Lawler. Now a left hand over the top. Oh, Lawler loaded up on a right hand. Covington sound defensively as usual. With a little trickery down the stretch, a spinning back fist to open a cut and close the show. A masterful effort out of Colby Covington. An acknowledgement to the American Top Team owner and founder, Dan Lambert. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 50 44, 50 45, and 50 45 for the winner by United. Decision, Colby, Chaos, Covington.